Hello dear friends, in trick number 224 on popular demand, today I am going to tell you the basic meaning of the terms LCM and HCF. Now I assure you one thing that once you know the meaning of these two very important concepts of LCM and HCF, you won't require any method to find the LCM and HCF of numbers up to 100. So, all you need to know is the tables and the factors. Now, to understand this, I will take two numbers and try to find the LCM and HCF of these two numbers by just understanding the meaning of LCM and HCF. Then we can take more examples to un understand it in a better way. Now in LCM, there is an alphabet M and M stands for multiple. Now what are multiple? When you write table of a number like 7, 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 7 3s are 21, so 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 and so on, they are called multiples of 7. Likewise in HCF, the alphabet which is contained here is F and F stands for factor. What is a factor? Suppose I have to find out the factors of 12. All those numbers in whose table 12 will exist. Like if we count the table of 2, obviously you will find 12 in that table. 2, 6 are 12. So 2 is a factor of 12. Likewise, a number can have many factors. 6 is another factor of 12 because again 6 to the 12. And always remember that 1 and the number itself are the factors of that number. Now suppose I have to count all the factors of 8. Then I have to start from 1. Then move on to 2 because 2 4 is 8. Then move on to 4 because 4 2 is 8. And then finally end at 8 itself because 8 1 is 8. So understanding of multiple and factor is very important. Multiples are always greater than the number like 8, 16, 24 we move in increasing order. And factors are always equal to or less than the number. Like the factors of 12 cannot be greater than 12. So it has to be a number which is smaller than 12. So multiples and factors. Now let me write the multiples of these two numbers whose LCM is to be found out. Now see 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Now these are the multiples of 8 and similarly if you write the multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 and so on. These are the multiples of 12. So M stands for multiple so I have written the multiples of both the numbers. Now what does C stand for? Now C stands for common. Here also C stands for common. So we are talking of multiples M and what type of multiples? Common multiple. Now see if you see what is common in this 8 does not exist here, 16 does not come here, 24. Now see 24. Now 24 is a common multiple. Likewise if you write this table further, you get another common multiple say 48. It is a common multiple. So we are talking of common multiples. LCM. CM means common multiple. Now what does the final alphabet L stands for? L stands for least. Now obviously in LCM you have least common multiple. So L comes first but for understanding the meaning you need to understand it in the reverse order. 
first the meaning of multiple then what are common multiples common multiples and now finally you arrive at the answer once you come at the third alphabet that is l l stands for least least means the smallest now see 24 is the smallest multiple which is common in both the tables so lcm of 8 and 12 is 24 likewise if you want to understand this highest common factor now you can uh, do it in the similar fashion now see i am writing the factors of 8 8 comes in the table of 1 in the table of 2 in the table of 4 and in the table of 8 12 comes in the table of 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 now i have written all the factors of both the numbers so f is done now come to the common part now what is common in this see 1 is common 2 is common 4 is common and nothing else is common in this so i have taken care of the second alphabet common also and now the final alphabet that is h highest in lcm we were talking of least that is the smallest now in lcf we are talking of highest now see the common multiples 1 2 and 4 which is the highest 4 so lcf of 8 and 12 is 4 now see we have not taken any method for finding the lcm just the understanding of what is lcm now let us take one more example now suppose you have to find the lcm of 18 and another number say 20 now for 18 and 20 you need to write the table of 18 and if you have understanding of tables you will realize that in 18 you will carry on writing this table but you will not get a 0 in the units place until you multiply this by 5 so 18 5 is a 90 then you will not get any number which is having a 0 in the units place 18 10s are 180 because in 20 all the multiples will have 0 in the units place so I need only those numbers which have a 0 in the units place so 20 now after 20 I have 40, 60, 80 which cannot be common in this so I have to write it up to see 40, 60, 80 is a, nothing is common see 100, 120, 140, 160 nothing is common up to what I reach 180 so the LCM of 18 and 20 is 180 see little bit of understanding and just by looking at the numbers 18 and 20 you can find the LCM of 18 and 20 now suppose you want to find the LCF of two more numbers say we have 36 and we have 60 now see 36 and 60 if you write 36 as the factors as 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. See I have written all the factors of 36. Similarly write the factors of 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Now see I have written all the factors of 60. Now just check which is the common factor. Obviously, the, start from here because we need to find the highest. Highest. So 60 is not common. 30 is not common. 36 is not common. 18 is not common. 15, 12. Just see 12. 
After 12, there is no common factor. Say 15, 18, 20, 30, 36, 60, there nothing is common here. So, HCL is 12. Likewise, you can take some more examples yourself and try and find the LCM of some more numbers. Say, suppose now I have to find the LCM of a number which is prime. Now see, suppose I have 11 and 14. Now for finding the LCM of 11 and 14, I don't need to write the tables also. Why? Because 11 is a prime number. Now whenever a number is prime, then it can have a common factor with the other num number which is the same number. Now, I can have 11 as a factor of the other number if it is, this number is also divisible by 11. But 14 is not divisible by 11, so I don't need to write the tables. Just write the LCM of 11 and 14 which will be equal to 11 multiplied by 14 which is 154. Don't need to write the multiples of all these things. Now suppose both the numbers are prime, then our job is further simplified. Say LCM of 7 and 13 is just 7 into 13 because there cannot be any common multiples between 7 and 13 except the product of these two numbers. So 7 into 13 is 91 which is our answer. Now suppose there is a case in which the two numbers exist in the table of the smaller number. Now see, suppose we have 9 and 27. Now you don't need to find the LCM here because least common multiple will be the smaller number only because 27 comes in the table of 9. So LCM is 9 because 27 is divisible by 9. So whenever larger number is divisible by this, then the larger number itself is the answer. So you see just by having the understanding of this basic concept of LCM, the meaning of LCM and the meaning of HCF, you can find the LCM and HCF in a very short time. So keep learning, understand maths in this way and you will surely come out successfully in all exams. So share the channel if you like it.